The thing about Christianity that strikes me as the most profound is that it's more about descent than ascent. Let me explain. Jesus came into the world and humbled himself. He could have built an army, but he blessed the meek. He could have rose to political power, but he humbled himself to the point of death, even death on a cross. We often think it is our job to ascend, to become bigger than ourselves, to garner acclaim or praise, or to climb our way to God's good graces. This path of ascent, it says that if we do the right things, or say the right prayers, or climb the ladder of morality, then we can achieve spiritual success. We may not be cognizant of this, but just about every church and every Christian everywhere falls into this trap. We think if we can get more people showing up giving more money, then God will love us more and bless us more, as if the production is what equates our worth. This path of ascent, it assumes our faith is contingent on our influences. When we fall into this trap, we start assuming that our actions, our belief systems that we invest in intellectually and technology, it's what fuels our growth. But this is backwards. What Lent reminds us is that the more spiritual path is not one of ascent, but descent. So much of what happens on earth cannot be fixed or even explained, but it can be felt and suffered. Real, authentic Christianity understands that we must, along with Jesus, agree to descend and to suffer the pains of the world. To do this, we must become less, not more less controlling, less self-seeking, not more. We must let go. We must become less materialistic, less ignorant, less comfortable. We have to shed the egoic mind that markets this false sense of self or church. What Lent reminds us is that spiritual growth happens more by subtraction than it does addition. This Lenten season, we must take this path of descent. Isaiah 61 tells us that when we do, we're given beauty for ashes. In other words, we're redeemed. Paul, in the, Romans, in the letter to the Romans, says in all manner of ways that Jesus took this same path and it led to the salvation of the world. When we take the path of descent, when we become crucified with Christ, inevitably we enter into suffering. But thanks to Christ's descent, suffering leads to endurance, which leads to hope which leads to unconditional grace. It may seem backwards, but in Christ, down is up, less is more. Subtraction is really addition. Descent is beauty. Ascent is sin. So join us this Lenten season as we explore these topics together and prepare our souls to take this path of descent, to let go, to imitate Christ, and in so doing, find our true selves connected to God. Join us this season for Lent at First Baptist.